Praise the name of Jesus Christ. My name is Pastor Maurice Gashero, Senior Pastor Jubilee Christian Church, Thika Road, and this is Gospel Talk, where we get to discuss the gospel of Jesus Christ in a way that is plain and understandable. There are no two ways of becoming righteous. The only acceptable righteousness before God now is the righteousness he gives and the bible says thy righteousness are as filthy rags the gospel of jesus christ is called good news so our bodies receive life from the spirit I praise the name of Jesus Christ and I hope uh, you're doing well. Welcome to tonight's episode of Gospel Talk. Today we are coming to the end of the book of Galatians. It's been weeks of discussing this very rich book. And today we are in chapter 6. And with me here today is Pastor Pauline Gashero, my wife. And we are going to try and break it up uh, down and uh, we will try to unpack the riches within this uh, particular chapter. Invite your friends, invite your neighbor, please kindly uh, uh, like, comment, share, you know, on Facebook and also on YouTube. You can subscribe and press the notification button so that you are able to receive information anytime we are on. So we look at uh, Chapter 6, verse 1. The Bible talked about, we, if I read just for the purpose of brief recap, we were talking about the connection between the mind, the flesh, and the actions. So Paul was talking about the manifestations or the works of the flesh and the fruit of the spirit. And both of them are determined by where the mind is. So this chapter is, of course, a continuation from that particular point. We're talking about the fruit of the Spirit as love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such, he says, there is no law. But he also talked about the works of the flesh. And we saw that it's because the people had accommodated a lie, mm. a deception that affected their mind and started to manifest in the flesh. Talks about the importance of what people believe and importance of truth. Mm. Because truth further affects how we live and how we act. Yes. So he says in verse 25, if we live in the spirit, let us walk in the spirit let us not become conceited provoking one another and envying one another mm. so he's talking about things that were happening because people are living in the flesh mm. all right the provoking conceited provoking one another envying one another those things don't happen when people are in the spirit mm. those people happen when people are in the flesh mm -hmm. okay so chapter 6 verse 1 he says brethren if a man is overtaken in any trespass you who are spiritual restore such a one in a spirit of gentleness gentleness considering yourself less lest you also be tempted okay mm -hmm. so it means these people when somebody got into a situation a trespass or a sin there is a way they reacted, mm -hmm. all right? Yeah. There is a way they reacted. Mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, and Paul noticed these people are reacting as if they cannot be tempted themselves. Mm -hmm. You get? They are reacting as if they cannot uh, get into a situation, even if it's not the same, but you know. So he is correcting them and he's telling them, mm -hmm. if a brother is tempted mm -hmm. or is, is overtaken in a in any trespass, they commit sin. Mm. 
the work of those who are mature, mm -hmm. okay? The work of those who are spiritual, mm -hmm. all right? So note the characteristic of spirituality because we are coming from mm -hmm. being spiritual minded, you know, fruit of the spirit and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. They say one of the things that you notice mm. for spiritual people is that a spiritual person will want to restore. Mm -hmm. A weak person mm. will want to restore anyone who is caught in a situation. Mm. They will want to help them stand again. You get? Mm. And that's the same thing, you know, Jesus told Peter. Yeah. Satan, I wanted you to sift you like wheat, but when you're converted, strengthen your brethren. Your brethren. Mm. So, but here, there was a situation which mm -hmm. was a manifestation of the flesh where these people not only and uh, uh, became conceited, mm -hmm. provoked one another, but it's like they were happy at the downfall of a brother. Mm -hmm. They were happy at the downfall of a brother instead of trying to restore that brother with the spirit of gentleness, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah, and if they considered themselves as if they cannot be tempted themselves, what mm -hmm. do you think? Yeah, I mean, I think, uh, I believe that you've really, um, uncovered it so well like you've said he's telling them that you see these spiritual people that he's referring to he's talking about those ones who are walking in love mm. those ones who are who are walking in love who are not walking after the flesh mm. but they are walking in love mm. so it is out, it is the love that is they are walking in mm. you know mm. that provokes them Mm. You know, it is that love, you know, the God kind of love. Just the same way the Bible says, uh, for, for God so loved the world mm. that he gave his only begotten son. It is out of, because of love that God sent his son, mm. Jesus. So it is the same love that is supposed to be working in a believer. Mm. And the same way that God wanted us to be restored to himself mm. would be the way that the church should desire to see those who are falling by the wayside to be restored back because the same nature that uh, that made God send his son is the same nature that he has given us that nature of love the nature that desires people to grow you know which is also mm. and and some people have said it mm -hmm. is uh, is is what is called the fruit of the spirit yeah it, it is that a when a believer spirit. is mature mm -hmm. and submitted to the spirit mm -hmm. What we see mm -hmm. in terms of character mm -hmm. and relationship with other people is called the fruit of the spirit. Mm -hmm. All right, mm. and that fruit of the spirit, if we look at it, is is love. Mm. Okay, so they are saying that love is the fruit. Mm. The others are just different types of love. Mm -hmm. Okay, so mm -hmm. you see, there is joy, peace, long suffering, mm -hmm. uh, kindness, goodness. Mm. Mm. Patience and any faithfulness, mm -hmm. uh, gentleness and self-control. Mm. All right. So there is a book I read about the various uh, 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 the the fruit of the spirit. Now studying that book, and he said that joy, yeah, is peace uh, is love on its wings. Mm. Peace is uh, 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 love at rest. Mm -hmm. uh, long suffering is patient love. Kindness is uh, 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 love with humanity, mm -hmm. relating to humanity, mm -hmm. goodness, faithfulness, mm -hmm. uh, uh, gentleness, self-control, things like that. Mm -hmm. And then you see where we have read, and that's why I've gone back to that. Mm -hmm. And he says the manifestation of that fruit of the Spirit mm -hmm. is what is seen in verse 1. Mm -hmm. He says, those who are spiritual, you said that uh, 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 the love is spiritual. The mm. spiritual people walk in love. Mm. All right? So we see that in that verse, it says, you who are spiritual, mm -hmm. restore such a one in the spirit, in a spirit of gentleness. Mm. Now that uh, gentleness is the same one we see mm -hmm. in uh, <coughs> the fruit of the spirit. It's a fruit of the spirit. Mm. He says the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, Faithfulness and gentleness. Mm -hmm. All right? Self-control. Then we are told, mm -hmm. those who are spiritual restore one who is overtaken in trespass mm. through a spirit of gentleness. Yeah. Okay? Mm. Where now, that 
the fruit of the spirit in us, the maturity in us, the mm -hmm. spirituality mm -hmm. in us becomes manifested by how we deal with other people, mm -hmm. by helping to restore other people. Mm -hmm. You know, this one thing I tell as a pastor, mm -hmm. of course you have seen a few people goof. Mm -hmm. You've seen a few people making blunders and being caught in temptations. Mm -hmm. But I tell people, yeah, the Bible says mm -hmm. that God da is not pleased yeah, when one person perishes. Mm -hmm. There is no way, whether it's a sinner. You see, in fact, the Bible says God rejoices at the death of a sinner. Mm -hmm. All right? Yeah. You get it's mm -hmm. there, actually. Mm -hmm. All right? You get it? Yeah, that's true. But the death of a person in sin never pleases. This is God, yeah. Because the eternal mm -hmm. destiny of that person is, is sealed. Yeah. And it cannot be changed. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Okay? Mm. So before the eyes of the Lord, mm -hmm. he is pleased mm -hmm. by the death of a saint. Mm -hmm. Because that saint has gone to him. Mm. Okay? Mm. He's finished well, or mm. she's finished well, and has gone to his mm. or her eternal reward. Mm. But now, People should restore others mm -hmm. with the knowledge that this is a soul that God would not be pleased for this soul to perish. And if the people are to have that mentality, uh, it, the church would be what the church should be. Yeah. You know, where we, we don't condemn. Mm. You know, we, we don't walk in condemnation. Of course, the spirit of God corrects, mm. but the spirit of God does not condemn. Mm. So, and you can imagine now what you're saying with the fruit of the spirit, you know, the spirit of gentleness. We, we, God will be working together with God, you know, to keep those that, uh, because the person that we are talking about is somebody who is already born again. Mm. Yeah, this is not somebody who is not born again. Mm. He's saying this person has been overtaken in a trespass, but this person has been, was, is somebody it's who is born, born again. again. That's why you are restoring. That is why you are restoring this mm. person because there is someone who is already born again. Mm. So that spirit of gentleness, and I believe it's a, because it's a fruit of the spirit, mm. uh, it will not be right to say that someone cannot walk in, this, in the fruit of gentleness. You know, because it is a gift. Yeah, it's a manifestation that is uh, available, not, though not everybody practices it. Mm. But it is available for every person that is born again. Mm. So it would it would not be right for somebody to say that uh, uh, I don't know how to do it. Mm. You know, I don't know how to be gentle. Mm. Me, well, if someone says that they don't know how to be gentle, then they are depending on their own ability. Mm. But if someone is depending on the ability of the spirit, then it is possible to restore that kind of a person. You see, the fruit and the gifts of the spirit mm. they are different. Mm. Gifts of the spirit. Mm and fruit of the spirit. Mm. Now both of them, mm -hmm. however, mm. manifest as we yield to the Holy Spirit. That's true. None of them can work without the Holy Ghost. Mm -mm. All right? Mm. Because actually the fruit of the Holy Spirit mm. is the attribute or the character of the Holy Spirit being manifested through us. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. As we relate with other people. Mm. Okay? And if you look at them, mm. this is the same way that God relates with us. Mm. Because if you look at God, God is love, mm. all right? Mm -hmm. you, you look at uh, joy, he mm. says he rejoices over, mm. over us. Mm. The Lord rejoices over us. If you look at peace, Christ is our peace, mm. all right? Mm. The peace of God that rules and reigns our mm. hearts. Long-suffering, God mm. is patient mm -hmm. and long-suffering. Kind, God is kind, mm. all right? Uh, uh, goodness, God is good, every good and perfect gift comes from above. Mm -hmm. Faithfulness, God is faithful. Mm -hmm. All right, God has dealt gentle with us. Mm -hmm. So the only one you look at is, is that requires self uh, uh, us to really uh, uh, be very, very clear. Mm -hmm. And that happens, and it's mentioned one. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, at the end, it's, it's mentioned one at the end, mm -hmm. it's called self-control. Mm -hmm. The ability to rule. Yeah. Okay, one spirit. Mm -hmm. The ability to take to control yeah. appetites, the reactions desires, and emotions, all reactions. reactions. Yeah. You understand? Mm. So now here you're seeing that, that it is a fruit of the spirit, mm -hmm. gentleness, and the Bible says we should do so because of our spirituality. Mm -hmm. 
says how spirituality helps mm -hmm. our spiritual maturity mm -hmm. or being spiritual helps even how mm -hmm. we look at other people's failures. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, when you look at other people's failures, a spiritual person becomes compassionate. Mm -hmm. Okay? But a kind of person will rejoice at the failure of another. Mm -hmm. A spiritual person will want to help that person. Are you getting? Mm -hmm. So that is why Paul says, you mm. who are spiritual, control them with the spirit of gentleness. Mm. And then consider yourself, lest you are tempted. Mm. All right? It says, bear one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. Which law is that? Law of love. The law of love. All right? Mm -hmm. So the law of love is fulfilled mm. as we bear one another's burdens. Which is not necessarily seen. These are burdens. These, These are burdens. Mm. All right? Mm. It's not necessarily seen. Mm. Okay? For if anyone thinks himself to be something, mm -hmm. when he is nothing, he deceives himself. Mm -hmm. So it talks about mm -hmm. the right mind of ourselves. Mm -hmm. All right? This doesn't mean we walk, you know, uh, 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 with uh, what you call low self-esteem. Mm. Okay? This doesn't mean, you know, the Bible says we shouldn't consider more highly of ourselves. No, no, no. You have the right view of yourself as far as Christ is concerned and the word and the gospel is concerned. And that view would be mm -hmm. the reality of Christ in us. Yeah. 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 Okay. Mm. If anyone thinks of himself to be something mm -hmm. when he is nothing, mm -hmm. he deceives himself. Mm -hmm. So there is a place of self-deception. Mm -hmm. You know, we began uh, <coughs> in chapter 5. Mm -hmm with these guys who had brought a deception by teaching and persuasion. Mm -hmm. But now we are talking about a deception mm -hmm. that somebody has in his mind mm -hmm. that causes them to think in a particular way. This is not about thinking yourself low. Mm -hmm. It means yeah, not seeing yourself as superior mm -hmm. or better mm -hmm. okay, or above others. Mm -hmm. You get? Mm -hmm. So, he says, you deceive yourself, but let each one examine his own work, and then he will have rejoicing in himself alone, and not in another. Mm -hmm. I think that's self-explanatory. Mm -hmm. For each one shall bear his own load. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So it's just talking about personal responsibility. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. Personal responsibility. Yeah. He's not talking about sin. No. Because Christ is a sin bearer. Mm. All right? Mm. He's talking about your own work. Mm -hmm. Your own work. Mm -hmm. Examine your work. All right? With mm. the, the rejoicing in yourself alone, mm. not in another. For everyone will bear the, his, own, his load. own load. And mm. that is talking about work. Mm -hmm. Let he whom is taught, and now you get to a thorny area, mm. let he him who is taught. taught the word share in all good things with him who teaches can you put that in amplified the yes. one who is taught the word of god is to do what is to share all good things with his teacher contributing to his spiritual and material support yeah it's the word of god mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. why because of the value mm -hmm. of what they have received from the teacher mm. you know can i tell you honey mm. People do not understand mm. the importance mm. of having a teacher. They don't. In this context, mm. a good teacher of the word will save that person from all those things we've been talking about. Mm -hmm. The flesh. Mm. Okay? Mm. Manifestations, the works of the flesh. Mm. And the problems that follow mm -hmm. the works of the flesh. Because when this person is accurately taught, mm -hmm. their minds are renewed mm -hmm. according to the truth and the word of God that they are taught, mm -hmm. and they live by the Spirit, mm -hmm. and they are guided by the Spirit because mm -hmm. they've been taught well. Mm -hmm. But if a person is taught wrong, they are exposed to so many things. Mm -hmm. That's true. Okay? Mm -hmm. So there is a value of what is taught mm -hmm. the value of a person or, or a person 
uh, who teaches mm. there is that value and that is why paul is saying support their spiritual and material uh, support them spiritually and material mm -hmm. contribute to their spiritual and material support because mm -hmm. if this person mm -hmm. you're supporting is able to teach you properly mm. that person determines the direction of your life oh yeah your person determines the kind of life somebody lives here on the earth yeah. heaven we are all going but uh, the christian experience mm. is determined by the person that teaches you yeah because they are the ones who either expose you mm. to an error mm. you know lies or they expose you to the truth mm. and the bible says that you shall know the truth mm. and the truth shall mm. bring liberty mm. or the truth shall set somebody or make somebody free mm. so this the the person that teaches is the instrument that god uses mm. okay mm. to bring freedom mm. in manifestation mm. you know because truth is already written here mm. yeah but not everybody has the ability to decode to it. yeah to mm. decode it so if you can if if god brings into somebody's life mm. uh, a, a man or a woman that has the ability to decode okay mm. Mm. and communicate mm. truth to them in mm. a way that they are going to understand mm. that translates to the kind of life this person lives this person lives and that's very very important and mm. we are going to pick it up from there mm -hmm. in just a minute mm -hmm. we are going to pick it out from there in just a minute mm -hmm. please share like comment this this is our last a chapter on this book mm -hmm. and we are bringing it home but we are discussing a very pertinent issue mm -hmm. so kindly share like comment subscribe and see you in a minute on gospel talk praise the name of jesus christ my name is pastor morris gashero senior pastor jubilee christian church thika road and this is gospel talk where we get to discuss the gospel of jesus christ in a way that is plain and understandable There are not two ways of becoming righteous. The only acceptable righteousness before God now is the righteousness he gives. And the Bible says thy righteousness are as filthy rags. The gospel of Jesus Christ is called good news. So our bodies receive life from the spirit hi welcome back this is gospel talk and uh, we were discussing galatians chapter 6 where the bible says the one who is taught the word of god mm. okay is to share all good things with his teacher this means a person should know who their teacher is yeah mm okay mm. when you you are taught by somebody you mm. end up knowing what that person knows or even more or even more okay mm. now it says you share all good things with your teacher mm -hmm. and contributing to his spiritual and material support number one, okay why should somebody share Mm. good things with their teacher mm -hmm. is because mm -hmm. of what the teacher has shared with them mm. Mm -hmm. you said something mm. and i like referring to this example you said that a teacher helps somebody to decode mm. and to understand the word of god mm. and people say it sometimes people say i can read the word for myself mm -hmm. which is a lie mm. because of here yeah, you can read but can you understand it by yourself mm -hmm. and this is the example i use mm -hmm. and i've told people there is this man in the book of acts yeah the eunuch mm -hmm. ethiopian eunuch mm -hmm. this eunuch was a very senior person mm -hmm. in the kingdom mm -hmm. of of kadesh mm -hmm. the, the 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 queen of ethiopia mm -hmm. and uh, this man had come to jerusalem for whatever purpose mm -hmm. and uh, managed somehow had the gospel the mm. scroll of isaiah mm -hmm. and he was clearly a very an uneducated man mm. and as he was going he was reading it mm -hmm. and he was reading uh, he was not able to understand so he was reading but he was not understanding he wasn't understanding he was not an ignorant man he was able to read this man was a treasurer mm. of the kingdom of mm. ethiopia mm. a treasurer mm. of 
uh, 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 I read from verse 26, mm -hmm. Acts 4, mm -hmm. Acts 8, 26. Mm -hmm. He says, um, but an angel of the Lord said to Philip, get up and go south to the road that runs from Jerusalem down to Gaza. This is interesting mm -hmm. because Philip, who was Philip? Philip was an evangelist. Mm. He's one of those brothers who was having tables. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay? Mm. So Philip is, is uh, instructed by an angel, get up to the south road from Jerusalem to Gaza. Go, verse 27. And he says, so he got up and went, and there was an Ethiopian eunuch, mm -hmm. a man of great authority, a court official of Cadence, wow. one of the Ethiopians, who was in charge of all her treasure. This was an educated man. A very senior and wow. educated person. You know, in our day we would call them, you know, uh, 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 ministers, yes, in treasury. Yeah. Or we would even call them, uh, you know, g the governor of the central bank, mm. depending on how they structured mm. yes. their systems those days. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says he had come to Jerusalem to worship. He tells us why he had come and to, to Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Mm. He had come just... To the worship. purpose of worshiping, mm. all right? And the Bible says that he was returning to? Sitting, he was, and as he was returning and sitting in his chariot, he was reading the scroll of the prophet Isaiah. Now, listen, he was returning mm -hmm. to Ethiopia mm -hmm. without understanding what mm -hmm. he had come to worship. The God he had come to He had come to worship, to worship mm -hmm. as, a, as, a, as, a, as a, as a, as a, Manifestation of devotion, mm. as devotion. Yeah. You know, he mm. felt within his heart. Mm. And, and, and that's why I think God really had mercy on him and sent Philip to the wilderness mm. because he saw his heart. Mm -hmm. He had come all the way from Ethiopia mm. to Jerusalem to yeah, worship. To worship. Wow, that's a long distance. That's a long distance. Mm -hmm. So you can see the hunger. Yeah. But mm. hunger enough is not enough. Mm -hmm. A hunger only is, alone is not enough. Mm -hmm. And education alone mm. is not enough mm. you know mm. so the bible says that the holy spirit said to him to philip go up and join this chariot mm -hmm. and uh, philip ran up and heard the man reading the prophet isaiah and asked he was trying to read aloud so he was to, reading, to but try he and understand, understand. so yeah. the issue is not well, so he's like himself mm -hmm. um who can who has believed mm. our report. He's trying to make it seem. Yeah. <laughs> this educated man. I don't man. know whether you have, uh, you have been reading uh, a, a verse <laughs> and you are really, uh, where you, where you want to get, to get in. Yeah. And then you start to read it it's aloud loud. to yourself. Yeah. Yeah. So he says, Philip ran up and had a reading, and the, prof, uh, the, the man reading, mm -hmm. uh, the prophet Isaiah, and asked, do you understand what you are reading? Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm. And he said, well, how could I understand unless someone guides me correct? correctly? Correctly. And he invited Philip to come up and sit with him. So he was reading, but the man was not understanding. And he was depending on somebody to come and guide him. Was this man an ignorant man? No, 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 no. Was this man an illiterate man? No, he wasn't. So if you compare mm -hmm. the education of the one who was teaching him <laughs> oh, yeah. and the one who was being taught, yeah. who the was supposed in normal circumstances to teach the to, 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 to be to have known. Of, to be. of course the 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 eunuch. So the eunuch had all these other knowledge, knowledge. but lacked spiritual knowledge. Yes. Philip might not have all oh, treasury. Yes. Or, he yeah. did not know. Had, had <laughs> he was serving tables, remember? He was serving tables. He mm. didn't know anything about treasury. Yes. All right? Mm. About being a court official. Mm. But this person knew Christ. Mm -hmm. that and understood the, the word. Mm. Okay? Mm. How to interpret the word. Mm. All right? So, Philip guides him mm -hmm. correctly. All right? Verse mm -hmm. 32. Philip guides him correctly. Mm -hmm. Now this was the passage the script, uh, of scripture which he was reading. Mm -hmm. Like sheep he was led to the slaughter. Okay? Mm -hmm. And as a lamb before its shearers is silent. 
so he does not open his mouth verse uh, 33 in humiliation his judgment was taken away justice was denied him who will describe his generation for his life is taken from the earth the eunuch replied to philip please tell me about whom does the prophet say this mm -hmm. Okay, about whom does the prophet say this? Mm -hmm. About himself. Oh, he was thinking it's even Isaiah who was talking yeah, about himself. Yeah, about himself or wow. about someone else. Mm. Okay, mm. then Philip spoke and beginning with this scripture. This, this scripture, this the one. one. Yeah, the one he was reading. He preached Jesus to, to him, him, explaining that he is the promised Messiah and the source of salvation. salvation. Wow. As they continued along the road, mm -hmm. they came to some water. Mm -hmm. On the road, a pond. A, po yeah? mm -hmm. a pond. Mm -hmm. And the eunuch exclaimed, mm -hmm. Look, water. What forbids me mm -hmm. from being baptized? Wow. All right? Mm -hmm. Philip said, If you believe with all your heart, you may. You may. And he replied, I do believe that Jesus Christ is the son of God. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm. <laughs> and he ordered that the chariot be stopped. And both Philip and the eunuch went down into the water and Philip baptized. Wow. When they came out of the water, the spirit of the Lord suddenly took Philip and carried him away to a different place. And the eunuch no longer saw him, but he went on his way rejoicing. Wow. So you see the attitude mm -hmm. and what happened after he was taught. Mm. The, the As he was, before he was taught, he mm -hmm. was going back to Ethiopia, mm -hmm. confused. He's, mm -hmm. no, he's asking, so who is this? Alarms led to the slaughter. Mm. Who is this now? Mm. Who is being sheared? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> who is this being sheared? Yeah. Then Philip comes. comes and tells him, now, do you understand? He said, I don't. How can I if I'm not guided? So Philip guides him mm -hmm. and points him to Jesus Christ. And mm -hmm. he is the one who says, mm -hmm. actually, eh, I don't even know how the eunuch knew he's supposed to be baptized. Apparently. He says, by the way, there is water here. Mm. What is it that forbids me to mm -hmm. be baptized? Wow. Say, if you believe, you may. Mm -hmm. And here is the confession of the eunuch. I believe with all my heart mm -hmm. that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. After Philip. After Philip mm -hmm. understood, I mean, uh, uh, guided him. him. Mm. He knew correctly that Jesus is the Son. Anyway, on his way mm -hmm. to Ethiopia, mm -hmm. now he's going mm -hmm. baptized. Yeah. He's going knowing mm -hmm. that Jesus Christ yeah, is the son of God. Mm. He's going saved, yeah. born again. Because of a man. With, because of one person. Mm. Can you imagine mm -hmm. yeah, the kind of life he went to live in Ethiopia? And the people that he impacted. And the people he impacted. Because he was a senior person. So because he was a senior person. Mm. So you see, mm -hmm. he says that is why Paul is saying, share mm -hmm. good things. Mm -hmm. All good things with the one that teaches you. Mm. Because this person contributes to the transformation of lives. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. Let's continue. Verse uh, 7. It says, Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatever a man sows, that, that he will also reap. For he who sows to his flesh will out of the flesh reap co corruption. But he who sows into the spirit will out of the spirit reap everlasting life what is the difference mm -hmm. between sowing in the flesh and you remember you remember mm -hmm. flesh is not body yeah flesh is not the body mm. so it doesn't mean you should not eat <laughs> oh, you die if you do, yeah. that's, that's not what he's saying yeah when you feed your body mm. you are not feeding your flesh mm. flesh is a sinful sensual mm. impulses mm -hmm. and desires mm -hmm. Okay, 
So this is a person who uses money, mm -hmm. resources, mm -hmm. opportunity and time mm -hmm. to satisfy those impulses. Those sens sensual impulses. Sensual impulses mm. to satisfy those desires. Yes, yes. These are persons sowing to his flesh. Yes, they want to see, to sow into their flesh. So who is this person mm -hmm. sowing to the spirit? Mm -hmm. For he who sows to his flesh will reap corruption, but he sows to the spirit, will of the spirit reap everlasting life. Like you have said, the, the first person is sowing into the flesh, mm. you know, through the impulses. And see now these impulses, uh, they, they are satisfied, so to speak, yeah, by maybe what somebody looks at, mm. you know, by what somebody touches, mm. you know, what the, the, it makes the person feel, okay? Mm. But when you're talking about somebody sowing into the spirit we are talking about a person now that is not guided by these impulses but this we are talking about a person that is guided by the word of god person that is guided by the spirit mm. of the of god because when you sow into the spirit out of the spirit we reap everlasting life so it tells you mm. this the difference between those people mm. is where they put their value yes this one puts their value yeah. In feeding sensual lust. Yes. The f yeah. Desires, impulses, mm -hmm. and that. The second one who mm. sows into the spirit mm. is about knowing truth. Yes. You remember? Yeah. You remember the mind of the spirit is the will of God. Mm. Knowing the will of God, mm -hmm. knowing truth, mm -hmm. doing truth, mm -hmm. fulfilling truth. Mm. Okay? That's number one. Number two, mm. this is a person who invests and mm. sows in the manifestation of the fruit of the spirit. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm. Because that is a person, who, you who is spiritual, mm -hmm. you get. So now you find that that person mm -hmm. is, is what? Is sowing mm -hmm. into restoring people. Yeah. Into showing kindness. Mm -hmm. Into knowing the mind of the spirit. Yes. Into getting taught mm -hmm. or teaching. Mm. All right? So let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. What is the connection between verse 7, okay, or verse 8 and verse 6? Verse 6 says, mm -hmm. those who teach you, mm -hmm. all right, the word, mm -hmm. contribute to the good things to them. Mm -hmm. What does that, what is the connection between that and sowing? Because into the, spirit? the person who teaches, mm. yeah? The person he, who teaches, if the person teaches you right mm. and teaches you truth, you mm. become a person that sows in the spirit. Yes. You get. But if this person does not teach you the truth, the person does not teach you the gospel, you find that this person, the, the one that is receiving mm. the, the information, mm. if the information is not the gospel, if the information is not truth, they begin now to sow into the flesh. Mm. And of course with that, they reap corruption. Yeah. Mm. So you find that the importance is this, mm. that the person who mm. teaches, mm. all right, mm -hmm. sowing mm. or contributing mm. into the spiritual mm -hmm. and material growth mm -hmm. or well-being mm -hmm. of the person who teaches you mm -hmm. is sowing in the spirit. Mm. Why? Mm -hmm. Because this person will not only teach you, mm -hmm. but he will teach others. Mm -hmm. A good example is Acts 28, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the last verse, mm -hmm. I think it's verse 31, mm -hmm. 30, 31. The Bible says Paul was under house arrest, mm -hmm. but he preached for two years yeah. at his, his own, own expense. At his own cost, yeah. How? How did he teach at his own expense? Mm -hmm. He wasn't working for two years. He was under house for arrest. At least. In fact, for a long time he wasn't, because you know he was from one place, mm. being escorted, you know, he was under arrest, escorted mm. here and there. Mm. But the Bible says, he was preaching the kingdom of God and teaching the things which concern the Lord Jesus Christ with all confidence, so no one forbidding him, mm. okay? No one forbidding him. They knew keeping him mm. in Rome mm. benefited Rome. Yeah. The Christianity, Christians yeah, in Rome. in Rome, yeah. So there are people that were affected mm -hmm. by Paul remaining in Rome, by teaching him, by teaching them. Yeah. 
You understand? Mm -hmm. And that is the power of the word of God. Mm -hmm. And getting the right teacher. And those who are viewing, mm -hmm. please, I know there's a lot of conversations going on. But the Bible says that contribute to the well-being material and spiritual well-being of the person that teaches you. Mm. Okay? The person that teaches you the word of God correctly. Cor the key word is correctly. Correctly. Mm -hmm. Contribute. Because by contribute mm -hmm. and b b the sharing good things with them, mm -hmm. you are sowing into the spirit. Yes, because you enable this person to you continue. You enable this person. Mm. All right? Mm. Yeah, you enable that person mm. to reach out to more people. Mm -hmm. You enable that person to continue teaching. Mm. Okay? Mm -hmm. And it's tragic mm. during this time. Mm. There are pastor who has, pastors who are solid teachers of the word mm. that have left ministry mm. and they have gone to look for jobs. Because Sad. within... There are ministries mm -hmm. and churches. Mm -hmm. There are people who did not care about their material well-being, and the, the, and they were put by their they were put there by God to take care of the material things. They were put there by God <laughs> to make sure the word of God, God continues. continues. Yeah. But they were not aware yeah. of it mm -hmm. because they listened to the discussions yes. within the city yeah. and the deceptions mm. within the city that are telling people mm. do not give. Mm. Yeah, mm. They are telling people the church is about money. Mm. What do you mean? The church is about the word of God. It's about the word it's, of God. It's about the word of God. Mm. And we are not excusing whatever excesses are there. Are there. Mm. But, you know, the world would not be better. It would be much worse Terribly oh, worse without be the no word, word of God, without preachers who are teaching the word of God. That's so true. You get so Paul is saying, take care of those people who teach you the word of God. Let mm -hmm. me proceed as we close this. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. For he who sows into okay, that you there you have read. And let us not grow weary while doing good. Mm -hmm. So he's telling them that mm -hmm. doing good is what? Mm -hmm. He's sharing with the teacher mm -hmm. and sowing in the spirit. He says, do not be tired mm -hmm. in doing good. What is the context? Mm -hmm. What is he talking about mm -hmm. there? He's talking about mm -hmm. sharing all good uh, good things mm -hmm. with your teacher mm -hmm. and sowing into the spirit. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. And he says, in due season yeah, we shall reap. you shall harvest or reap mm -hmm. if we do not lose heart. Mm -hmm. Okay? So there are people who become beneficiaries mm -hmm. of sowing in the spirit. Mm. They become beneficiaries of sharing mm -hmm. with the teacher. Mm -hmm. The one who teaches them the gospel. They become beneficiaries. When that season, what Paul says, due season. Mm -hmm. When due season yeah, comes, mm -hmm. they reap out of the benefit mm -hmm. of Sowing the spirit. Sowing in the spirit. Mm. Praise God. Amen. Okay, therefore, mm -hmm. as we have opportunity, mm -hmm. let us do good to all, especially to those who are of the household, household of, of faith. faith. Okay? Mm -hmm. See, with what large letters I've written to you with my own hand, mm -hmm. as many as desire to make a good sowing in the flesh, this would compel you to be circumcised. Mm -hmm. Only that they may not suffer persecution for the cross of Christ. He's mm -hmm. saying, they tell you to do certain things to preserve to themselves, please the others, mm -hmm. so that the others don't persecute mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. to but preserve. that is a showing of mm -hmm. the flesh. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. And we have discussed that a lot. Mm -hmm. It's a showing of the flesh. Mm -hmm. Alright? Mm -hmm. For not, he's saying, there are things that people do to save their height, mm. to seem Self preservation good to yeah. the world. Mm. All right, mm. but what they are doing, they are they are misgu misguiding mm. the body, mm. the body of Christ. Okay, mm -hmm. for for not even those who are circumcised sub circumcised keep the law, but they desire to have you circumcised that they may boast in your flesh. Mm. I'm telling you this thing of circumcision and the flesh was bothering Paul. <laughs> How many times has he come back to it? Uh, many times. Many times. He rebuked them and mm. called them and said, 
they were bewitched. Mm. <laughs> then he raises it up in chapter four, mm. chapter five. He tells the, them, yeah. "You began well. Mm. What happened to mm. you?" He talks about the flesh, flesh, flesh. Chapter five. Mm. Okay, he tells them, you know, live in that liberty mm. where when Christ has made you free. Then he goes back to talking about the works of the flesh. Yeah, talks about the flesh, and then here he's finished. He has actually told them the parting shot. Mm. But before he signs off, he says, mm. this, this issue of the flesh." Mm. He goes back to, to the issue mm. of the flesh and circumcision. It was so much. Mm -hmm. So you find that. Galatians, mm -hmm. they were people under that pressure. Mm. They were people that were under that uh, 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 pressure by other teachers who were telling them to get into circumcision and get back to the law. Mm. And that is what Paul is repeating, 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 repeating mm. again in the book of Galatians. All right? Mm. And then he says, But God forbid that I should boast except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom the world has been crucified to me and I to the world. For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision avails anything but a new creation. Mm -hmm. Okay? So mm. this is not the first time he uses that statement, mm. that circumcision or uncircumcision avails nothing. Mm -hmm. Okay? And he says, and as many as walk according to this rule, mm. peace and mercy be upon them and upon the Israel of God. From now on, let no one trouble me, for I bear in my body the marks of the Lord Jesus. Brethren, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you, yes. with your spirit. Amen. And I say amen to that. Praise the name of Jesus. Mm. Friends, thank you so much for walking with us in this journey. It's been exciting. We have learned as we have taught. And please, study the word of God. And it will shift your life. It will change your life. It will renew your mind. And uh, it's very, very important to be taught. Mm. Get a place where you can be taught the word of God, because it will clear some of those doubts, some of the myths, some of the preconceived notions mm. yeah, that people have, so that you live your life to the fullest based on knowing the truth, based on understanding the word of God. That is the best place to be. The Bible says you shall know the truth and the truth will make you free. And that is why gospel talk is here to help you understand some of those books of the Bible that people say they are not able to read, they are not able to understand. I've asked many people about understanding the epistles of Paul. People who have been born again for a long time. Some of them have been ministers for mm -hmm. a long time. But they claim or even they acknowledge that they do not understand or they would never used to understand mm -hmm. the writings of Paul mm. because some of these things have to be taught to be understood. Mm. Therefore, get yourself a good teacher, a good man of God who can be able to break these things, out, uh, to unpack them for you so that you do not remain ignorant of the you know, two-thirds of the New Testament. Oh, yeah. You don't remain ignorant of two Sixty percent mm. of the New Testament. Mm. It's good for you to understand the word of God. Mm -hmm. And therefore, that is why we are coming to you. Mm. And God bless you so much. Kindly remember to like, comment, and share. And also remember there are numbers at the bottom of your screen. They are there so that you can get into contact with us, so that you can tell us that these uh, uh, teachings are blessing you. You let us know what has happened to your life get inquiries, ask anything about us, about the church, and then somebody will respond. Also, there is another number which is called the pay bill number that is at the bottom there and is there to give you an opportunity to be able to be a blessing to this broadcast, to partner with the work of God. We need partners so that we can be able to, uh, you know, spread the gospel 
and so that we can be consistent in what we are doing. God bless you. I want to pray for you. Those who want to get born again, say, Lord Jesus, thank you. Thank you for your love and thank you for dying on the cross for me. I believe that you died for me and I confess that you are Lord from this day. You are the Son of God and you are my Savior. Uh, amen. And if you have uh, repeated that prayer, then now you're born again. Uh, use those numbers. Let us know so that somebody can give you further counsel and continue to pray with you in prayer. I want to pray for those who are ailing. Father, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke infirmity. I rebuke sickness. I rebuke disease. In the name of Jesus Christ, I proclaim freedom. I proclaim total healing and complete healing in their body. In Jesus' name, be whole and be free. It's been our pleasure to bring to you these teachings on the book of Galatians mm -hmm. here on Gospel Talk. Kindly, you know, look out for us. The, or better still, subscribe on our YouTube channel and on our Facebook pages so that you can be notified anytime we are discussing matters concerning the gospel of Jesus Christ. God bless you so much. Until next time, it's Pastor Maurice Gashero and Pastor Pauline Gashero of Jubilee Christian Church, Thika Road. God bless you. God bless you. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. My name is Pastor Maurice Gashero, Senior Pastor Jubilee Christian Church, Thika Road, and this is Gospel Talk, where we get to discuss the gospel of Jesus Christ in a way that is plain and understandable. There are no two ways of becoming righteous. The only acceptable righteousness before God now is the righteousness he gives. And the Bible says, thy righteousness are as filthy rags. The gospel of Jesus Christ is called good news. So our bodies receive life from the Spirit.